And as you fall deeper in love, the more you will long to be him, to cherish each other, to nurture each other. That can happen. I pray that it will for you. Now, I want to ask the two of you, if you will, as we come to a time of sharing vows, I want to ask you to join me. Eddie, we're going to ask you to share your vows with Terry first. I, Eddie, take you, Terry, to be my wedded wife. I promise at this time, before our families, before our friends, before our God, to be your loving and faithful husband. Plenty and in want, joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, I will perform the duties which a husband owes to a wife, so long as we both show them. Now, Terry, I ask you to share with Eddie the following. I, Terry, take you in to be my wedded husband. I promise before our parents, I promise before our family and friends, I promise before our husband to be your loving and faithful wife. When the end of walk, joy and sorrow, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, I will perform the duties which your wife holds to a husband, so long as we both shall be. These are sacred vows which the two of you have now shared. They're sacred because you've shared them before God. They're very meaningful. Because you share them in the very presence of your body and fathers. You made a commitment for the whole world to hear and to see. Now, what symbol, what token of this vow can we draw today to this symbol? Gary, what token of this vow? Here on my old Bible. Lay the rings that you had chosen. They're very pretty. They're a beautiful emblem for the two of you that you will share from this day forward. Proud. This man is my husband. This woman is my wife. What you shared from your hearts and what you shared with words are somehow sealed by these bands of gold. As we look at them, there are some things that I want to say to you about them that I hope will stay in the hearts of your minds forever. The first thing is, is that you'll notice as any ring, it's a circle. And really a circle has no beginning or no end. May the love which God has placed in you be like the circle. The love that He's placed has no end to it. They're also made out of gold. You know, gold is its purest when it's put to the fire, it's put to the test, and it's found to be pure. Our prayer for you as your friends and your family is that there will be few tests that will come in your life. But every married couple here can tell you they do come. There are heartaches that come. You know, one of the things that's so beautiful about marriage is when the heartaches do come. There's someone there to share it with, and somehow, no matter how heavy that thing is, it's cut in half. But the other side is true too. All the joys that come as you share them, they'll be gone. So God is blessing you. May your love be as pure as the gold of His wings. Pure to each other, pure to yourself. You know, there are diamonds in these rings. And as the light reflects off of them, there are the hues and the different colors. 
over the years that God will give you, and only He knows how to get out of the There will be many problems that will come into your life. May God bless you, encourage you with each experience. I like to remind just about every couple, at some point, either in the counseling or in the ceremony, about a unique thing about these rings. They're rings, they fit on your finger, but what they become is long boxes. Little precious long boxes. You see, there isn't anything to cause you to think about your marriage anymore in this room. I don't know when it will happen. There will be time maybe when you're sitting in your breakfast together, maybe you'll be out with other people. And you'll see your loved one. They'll move their hand and this ring will sparkle. And you'll remember a special moment. Maybe the day you went and you finally found them and said, these are the rings. Maybe this day. When you looked at them on the local Bible, realized you got the plus them on the finger. And that moment will hold on. It will be precious and eternal and everlasting. I don't know what you mean. You're going to build a lifetime of memories to somehow be locked up in these two. I want you to take this ring that I have here. Place it on the third finger of Terry's left hand for a few after me. With this ring, I be wed. I promise to share my life with you. Be committed to you and your Lord. And to honor God. Terry, I'd like for you to take this ring and place it on the third finger of Terry's left hand for a few after me. This ring I be wed. I promise to be a faithful wife. I promise to be committed to you and you alone. Let's join together in prayer again. Father in heaven, in Jesus' precious, holy, lovely name we come. Father, I lift up again this couple to you. You've seen their hearts all along this journey of the last four years. Lord, you heard what they said in quietness when only the two of them could understand each other's hearts. Now you've been a witness to what they've said in this place. They've made a covenant with each other and a covenant with you. We ask you to deepen this covenant over the years and to bless them. Father, we pray that you might grant them some things because it's a desire of our hearts right now. We pray that they might live a long life together. Father, their days upon the earth would be long. We pray, Father, that they might live a long life that is healthy. That you will bless them with all the greatest happiness that only can come from you from sharing a life together with someone you love. Them. Father, we pray that they will grow deeply, deeply, deeply in love with you and in love with each other when we lose. You know the path for them. We commit them into your hands to the path that lays before them. We commit them in the name of Jesus.